What does Bobby Boucher, Tom Brady, and Smash Williams all have in common? They all played football. Football is a sport that consists of players, coaches, refs, and fans. But something's missing. The football. You can't play the game without one, but how does a regular football turn into the game ball? Well, there's a long process of breaking in the football in order for it to be game ready. Today, we will start the game by taking a look at the history of the football. We'll then touch down on the process of breaking in your football, and finally, complete the pass into its benefits. Now let's hike the ball and get this game started. Football quickly grew to be one of the most to be one of the most popular sports in America, but how much do you really know about the start of this game? Well, down here at Memory Lane, we like to explore the nostalgia of the past. Now, who doesn't love a good game of football? According to thetimes.com, the very first football used by college football players was made out of pig body parts. Americans started playing football in the 1850s using a rubber ball made from the bladder of the pig. This means that the ball is very elastic and easily deflated. In 1869, the University of New Jersey, now known as Princeton University, and Rutgers University played the game of football. Richard Linden invented a frame to go underneath the leather of the football in order to help it keep inflated, and he also created a pump for this. Flash forward to the 1930s, where football, the football dimensions became popular. When the forward pass became more popular, the narrow form of the football became more prominent and is now e and makes it easier to throw, catch, and pass the ball. This is now the design that we see used during football games on TV. Now let's get ready for the game. We are here at Gillette Stadium, and as you walk the halls, you notice shelves lined with footballs. As you enter the team sports room, you notice a table full of footballs that appear to be covered in mud. According to Wilson.com, for this process, you will need a Wilson football brush, a tack bar, football tack spray, and a football prep conditioner. And obviously, you will need a football. First, you want to start with your Wilson prep brush, and you want to make sure you brush each panel of the football. But, make, but don't worry about being too hard on the brush, because it was made to withstand tough conditions. Next, you want to use the football prep conditioner and apply about the size of a dime to each panel. You want to make sure you rub this in and allow it to sit for at least 20 minutes. The conditioner allows the ball, extends the ball's life. Next, you want to use the football tack bar and spread this across each panel two to three times. This allows for extra grip on the football. Now you want to go back to step one, which is brushing each panel of the football. Last but not least, you want to use the football tack spray and spray a thin amount across each panel. Lastly, once again, you want to make sure you brush your football. An optional step that I recommend is using football mud. You want to use a glove and apply a thin layer to each part of the football. But you want to make sure that you keep it off the laces and apply it thin enough to where you can see all the lettering. We are now nearing the start of the fourth quarter. So let's take a look at the highlights of benefiting. Let's take a look at the benefits of breaking in your football. Whether you have a Wilson game ball or an NFL official football, it is important for this process because each of these balls come with a special orange coating. This dye makes the ball extra slippery and it makes it hard as a rock due to no conditioning of the leather. According to ball breakers, by breaking in your game football, it will not only soften the leather, but provide you with additional accuracy, increased throwing distance, better ball protection, and added grip. This process will then turn the color of the football to the brown that we see used during games. The conditioners and wax products will make the ball last longer. You want to compare this to a baseball player and their baseball glove. 
They also have to go through a break-in process, which allows them to perform at their best of their abilities. This is the same thinking when it comes to football. Once you break in the ball, compare it to a brand new one, and you will easily be able to tell the difference and see why this process is created. Now that the game is over, let's take a look at what we went over today. We first started this game by taking a look at the history of the football. We then went over the steps and process of how to break in your football, and finally, went in with the benefits. Everyone loves a game of football. Whether that is college ball or NFL, the process is all the same. Now, I know many of you will never have to break in a football, but to some, it's important. People like my brother Brody, the football quarterback at LC. Yes, he does complain when my dad makes him break in a new ball, but he swears by this process, and it is effective to this day. Thank you.